Today we are in Mancito with my dear friend Lisa Wilson Goldmunds in this beautiful, stunning Stanford White's design home. We have seen the first floor, now let's go see the upstairs. Lisa, I enjoyed the first floor, it was amazing. I'm really looking forward to see what you have done upstairs. It's so pretty and light and again, today's living in an old house, the owners have put in this sisal in most of the, um, the rooms and it's so perfect. It's beautiful in this house. Again, another original light fixture. Again, one of the things that happens in an older home is that at the top of the stairs, you would have the master suite in the area. Then you would have the other secondary and third bedrooms. Oftentimes, those would have been for domestic help and guests and children. But the master, and one of the things that I think Stanford White did so beautifully, the device of the privacy, there's a vestibule, and then we open up to the rooms. No, oh, let's see that. I remember last time you were talking about people storing the trunks on the second floor first. <laughs> that was cool. Look how light and airy and the pretty ocean view from the bed. It looks like you want to get up every morning and say, yes, thank you, God. So beautiful. <laughs> this is definitely a room where you start your day by counting your blessings. Absolutely. Look at those beautiful trees outside and you can see the ocean from the other end too. Nice. And again, the comfy sisal that the owners put in that makes it not formal, not stuffy. It yes. just makes it relaxed and really um, enjoyable. It looks beautiful. And then you have the beautiful headboard with the curves in it and then the modern lamp. Well, again, an old house doesn't just have to have old things. We can mix and match. That's what makes it, I think, livable and somebody's home rather than looking like it came from a catalog or it's all one suite of furniture. We really don't do that anymore. Well, you know, actually what you do is very different than a lot of other stages that you have custom made pieces, which I thank you very much <laughs> for your business, but it doesn't look like you go and is like a, national chain store a lot of, everybody can do that and it gets tiring and old but this is beautiful it looks like completely custom made is something would have done you know for it's, their own home let's well, put it that way that's what i love so much about what i do it's it's fun it's creative it's beautiful thanks um i love this this used to be a, at one point in time it was probably an open porch and they've enclosed it to again take advantage of the view but also to have that intimacy and the privacy of where do we snuggle? Where can we have a cup of tea? Where can we read a book? And I think it's just the right size for two people. And when you're done snuggling, you can go out to the porch and look at the pool. It's very comfortable, you're right. And you're right, it's just, I don't know where you're snuggling, but you know, we can have a tea <laughs> here. Is the chairs are single. But yeah. You can use your imagination. <laughs> Beautiful, and yeah, I, I'm blown away by the view of it too. You just brought the outdoor indoors. It's just fabulous. You see the blues over there, now I see where you got your inspiration downstairs. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So this was one of the bedrooms upstairs. I understand there's seven other ones on this floor. <laughs> exactly. All right, can you give us maybe a little tour let's, quickly? Let's head down the, the long hallway. And let's get some exercise. <laughs> right, and see the others because they're, they're lovely and they all have bathrooms and they all have windows that open out to beautiful views. They all have bathrooms too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check that out. I like this room because it's, it's gender neutral, as I like to say, but it's just, um, again, warm, cozy, and very relaxed. And then again, what we have here would have been the back hallway in the top, which has a secondary staircase for, again, domestic workers. And this has five other bedrooms. Another front bedroom that has an ocean view. This one is just cozy. So we put, um, again, I like to imagine what happens in these rooms. So this is for the little boy of the house. What I love about this bedroom is the fact that it has a wonderful little balcony. And again, they're all en suite, so it has its own bathroom. Um, it was a great place for a desk. I see this more as a, a little girl room. We made it a little girlier. So because not everybody needs eight, nine bedrooms, uh, we made this one into a gym because a lot of times people need that and want that in a today home. And again, that's one of the ways to adapt an older home that has a lot of rooms to today's living. What I love about this room is, again, you've got a beautiful mountain view, but if you're all the way on the other side of the house and you get up and you just want a little coffee or a bagel, you don't have to go all the way downstairs. This is kind of our, our upstairs room where you can um, have a little breakfast or even a late night snack. Um, I saw this as a guest suite. It's just um, perfect. It's out of the way. It's tucked away so the rest of the family can be chaotic and you can be here in your cozy little cocoon. 
So back downstairs to this wonderful suite, which could be Crazy. How many bedrooms are in this house? So this would be bedroom number eight, if we're counting. Uh, but off the back wing of the house by the library and the living room. So very secluded, a view out to the pool, which is gorgeous. And for somebody who didn't want an upstairs master, this is, this is quite sufficient for a master bedroom. Nice. I like it as much as the master bedroom, actually. Well, look at this. That is beautiful bedding you put out there. Thank and you. This is beautiful well, and, love and what, seat. This is like for your favorite guest. And also lack of noise in here. I, know, I mean, we talked about this thing. These are old fashioned looking windows, but they're brand new and they're dual glazed and there's no noise in here actually. It's beautiful. And I love the pool, you look outside. Yeah. So maybe I should put my name on their guest list. I like it. <laughs> beautiful. Do you want to see bedroom number nine? Oh my goodness, yes, let's go. <laughs> what we are using, because again, today's adaptability, we've turned bedroom number nine into the office because it's, well, come, I'll show you. Let's see it. So Michael, here we are. This is the 10th, 9th, 11th, what room is that now? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Ninth room, beautiful. Uh, and again, if you want a downstairs bedroom, it's great. This has steps down to the pool. That's why we thought office, because office. so many people work from home today. I know I do, and I would love to have this as my office. It's at the front of the house. You can see people arriving flooded with light, yet this beautiful veranda and balcony. And then we have that beautiful pool outside that, you know, you can straight look into it. If you get tired, jump into the pool. Exactly. And it's beautiful. And the, the beautiful new windows. I love these old chains. This is the brass, the real, the real they made the old, But they're amazing. Exactly. They're just like beautiful and they're completely modern and yeah. isolations and noise. It's beautiful. Very nice. And, and then here. Can we check that yes. out? Yes, let's go. Sounds like oh, the neighbors are doing a little this. work. It's beautiful. Look how pretty. Well, it's you did a fabulous job of staging this house. It doesn't look a stage. It looks like really like you designed it perfectly for somebody to live in. Well, the owners were wonderful and I had plenty of time to, to really collect and to be intentional about how we make a home look and tell a story. We think staging is really for me, it's about connecting the dots. Where do I eat, sleep, work, play? What do I do in this room? How does this live for today? Beautiful. Congratulations. Thanks. Fabulous house. That's why I love to work with Lisa. She takes the smallest jobs or the biggest mansions and turns them to a most beautiful project. This house is a stunning looking and out of the proportion, perfectly done. Looking forward to see her on the next show.